Yara. <laughs> you have to hold them both. Hey guys! Nice. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. Well, we were about to jam uh, on a song right now, but Ziggy literally just is screaming from his bed. So we're just going to go grab Ziggy and then we can all hang out together. <laughs> this is going to get wild. But we're really super stoked to be hanging out with you guys and um, hope you're having a great day so far. Oh, here comes everybody. This is going to be good. Um, yesterday, we planted our very first garden, and we had a pizza party, and we did a whole bunch of cool stuff. And um, in the midst of this crazy season, we've been doing some crazy new stuff. And one of those crazy new things is <laughs> that I wrote a book, and that's what I'm here to tell you guys. Surprise! Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Everyone's really excited over here. I wrote a book. 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 How do you think? <laughs> Okay, why don't we jam and I'll tell you more about it in a second. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Let's play it. The book is called You Got This, A Guide for Ditching Perfect and Showing Up for Your Real Life. You know, like this crazy life. You want to watch a show? Okay, just a sec, Zay. We're just going to sing for a sec, okay? Yeah?
I thought you wanted a jam. But what? <laughs> jam. Watch your show. Okay, well, just one sec. So, um, yeah, you guys can go watch the show. So I wrote a book, and it's called You Got This. Mama, can you please start it? Yeah, Dad will go start a few, okay? Yeah, what do you do? Okay, I'll be there right away, okay? Do you want to say bye to everybody? You want to say bye? You can stay with me for a sec. Do you want to? So I wrote a book, and it's called You Got This. A guide to ditching perfect and showing up for your real life because... <laughs> oh, honey. Go find Dad. I'll be right there, okay? I promise. I'm coming, honey. I promise. I'll be right there, okay? I'm coming. I just need to tell everybody for about something special for one second, and then I'll come snuggle you, okay? Well, um, we are in the middle of the craziness, just like you guys. And I thought, what better time to launch a book? <laughs> Actually, that's... <laughs> I'll be right there, hon. I'll be right there. Um, okay, guys, it's a little crazy over here, but thanks for hanging with me in the middle of the crazy. But that's what the book is all about. So... I had the idea when I was backstage, when I just had Ziggy and I was on tour, it was the same way I got the idea to write the song, You Got This, and it was just in the middle of feeling really like a failure as a mom and feeling a, like a failure as an artist, just feeling kind of overwhelmed. Anybody else ever been overwhelmed? <laughs> and I was just, I was trying to get ready to get on stage, and I was backstage with Chris, and I was nursing Ziggy, and Milo was about 18 months old. And they were like, love of the outcome, time to play her show. And I was like trying to get my skinny jeans on. I've told you guys this story before, I think. And I was crying, like big, big tears. And I was just freaking out. And I'm like, I'm a failure as a mom. I'm a failure as an artist. I can't do this. Like, I cannot do this. And Holy Spirit just really reminded me in that moment. He's like, girl. It doesn't matter if you're in your PJs or your sequin blazer. Like, I still work. I still do my thing. Even more so, why don't you just get out there and be who you are in the middle of your moment and just be an invitation to people to let them see that your mess is the message, that you need me really bad. And so that was a huge pivot point for me. You know, those moments where you're like, before meltdown, after. <laughs> so after that meltdown moment for me, that was actually such... A revelation like confidence isn't having it all together it's letting God hold you together and I thought what if other people need this message too so I literally started writing the book right after Ziggy was born and I started journaling um, down all of my messy moments and the lessons I was learning in those messy moments and all the things that Holy Spirit was downloading into my heart and these promises that I'd read a million times were just coming to life and so I decided to write down all these promises and apply them to my situation. I thought, I need a book that's a daily devotional that helps people apply God's promises to their situation. That's what I need because I'm sure I'm not the only person on the planet that needs this message. And, um, and the other thing is, is that I didn't want it just to be a book about like in my, all about weakness. I wanted it to be a book about strength because God is strong and he wants us strong. That's what it says in Ephesians. God is strong and he wants us strong. And so this is a book about redefining strength and redefining confidence. So here's the deal. I am a mom and I'm in this crazy busy season where I can't sit for two hours a day and just like, Jesus, I'm just here for this. It's like, I'm here. I'm awake. God, my kids are doing okay at the moment. Can you just download something into my spirit right now? Can you just give me some truth. Can you just give me a promise? And so it's like, get in the word because that's where the promises are. And then I'm just going to illuminate on that. So his word never comes back void. So every page is basically a quote of a truth that I've learned, a revelation that God has, has given me. And then a story about my life because there's authority in our story, right? There's authority that comes from our story. So just a little bit of my story and then a verse of the day and then a thought just a thought for you to think on and apply it to your situation. So that's what this book's about, a devotional book, basically my life in a nutshell, for people on the go that just need to learn how to live 
every single moment with Holy Spirit as a foundation, living from spirit, not living from flesh, living with that perspective of God, show me what you see because I'm missing it right now. Anyone ever feel like that? I am missing it right now. God, <laughs> can you help me out? And um, I'm really excited. And if I'm being honest, I'm super nervous because, oh man, I'm just like, I've always said, I'm not an author. Like I, I don't write. I don't speak. I sing. I sing. And it was really you guys and my husband that were like, Joe, you got to do this. Like every time I posted a verse of the day or my motivational Monday, you guys would say, could you give me more of that? Could you tell me more about that? How did you, how did you apply that promise to your situation? And that was the encouragement that I needed to make this book come to life. So here's the deal, guys. I'm terrible. I'm terrible at believing in myself and amazing at believing in everybody else, like believing for everybody else. I'm so glass half full for everybody else, but I'm not like that for me. Anybody else understand that feeling? But, and I'm also really bad at asking for help. But you guys have, it almost makes me cry to say this, but so many of you guys have been messaging me and Chris and just saying, how do we help out your family in this time where um, you have a trailer full of merch and it's just sitting in your driveway and you have no shows and you guys are just home as a family? <laughs> My grandma was like, do you guys do anything else to make money? I was like, grandma, no, this is, this is it. This is what we do. <laughs> this is where we're at. This is the season of life. God's called us to ministry full time. And um, you guys know that about us. This is what we do with our family on the road. And so the best way that you can help us right now, I'm just going to be totally straight up, is to click on the Kickstarter link in my bio. So if you go to Love and the Outcome or I am Jody King, um, there's a link in the bio. It's a Kickstarter link. And if you click on that link, Underneath, I've made, um, Chris and I put together a whole bunch of really fun packages, like pledge packages. So you're basically pre-ordering the book. You're pre-ordering the book and giving me um, help with making this book come to life because I wrote it already, but I can't, it's $10,000 to actually print it. And I had no idea it was going to cost that much. So <laughs> Chris and I are like, let's do this. Let's take a step of faith. And then by the time that I pray, I prayed and paid for the legal fees and all the printing costs and I needed a, a cover and I needed to design the book and I needed a publisher to help me do all this stuff. Um, ugh, I'm actually like getting a bit of anxiety talking about this. I'm like sweating and I have a headache. <laughs> it just feels like super vulnerable to put this out there. But it's okay because um, God has totally put this on my heart to do this. So I'm just going for it. And I didn't know it was going to be this much, but it, it's okay because God has been so, so good and so faithful to meet our needs in this season <laughs> like he has been for you. And I'm not crying scared tears. I'm just crying really honest, vulnerable tears because I'm so grateful for the chance to do this. And I, I'm grateful for you guys because you always have been there for us. And I'm super, super, super grateful for that. I remember when our, um, our bus broke down on the side of the road and you guys were like praying and you were in our corner. And I remember when, um, our gear got stolen on the middle of our Christmas tour from our van and we didn't even miss one single show because you guys just showed up in such a massive way. So we have counted on you before and we know we can count on you again to help us with this. So I'm not going to let um, worry be my reality. I'm going to let peace be my reality because I'm super excited and I don't want to let any fear steal my excitement for this because it's been something I've been working on for a really long time. And, and honestly, I think it's going to be something that's going to bring a lot of life to your life because it's a dream that has been unlocked in me. And I wrote all about how to unlock your dreams and how to live in peace and how to just show up, just show up. Because here's the thing, guys, I don't have any answers, but I have a story. I have a story about what God's done in my life 
and what he's done in my husband and my family's life. And I have a story that has authority attached to it because I've lived through hard stuff and I've put it all in a book. And so I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to launch it. The Kickstarter's live. And sorry about the tears, guys, but not sorry because this is just what happens when we vulnerably put something out there, right? So I hope it gives you the, the um, freedom to let the tears fall today. Sometimes they come at unexpected moments. And that was what just happened to me. So I feel a little bit funny, but it's okay. This is, this is life right now. So, um, I said to Chris the other day, like, babe, maybe this is the wrong time to put out this book. Like everybody's home and, um, everybody is short on cash. Like maybe this is just not the time. And he looked at me and he's like, this is the perfect time. Joe, this is the perfect time to do this because everyone needs a bit more hope. Everybody needs a li little bit more encouragement. Everybody needs some, um, morning moments of like, God, I know you've got me covered in my weakness. You're strong. Everyone needs that right now. So I'm going to believe that my husband's right. He usually is. <laughs> he has been somebody that's always been in my corner. Chris has been the one from day one. That's like, you got to sing, you got to speak, you got to write. And he's the best. He's the one that really helps me go after these things. So ah, that's it. That's the whole deal, guys. The book's called You Got This, A Guide for Ditching Perfect and Showing Up for Your Real Life because that is what Holy Spirit has helped me do in my life. To just ditch trying to be perfect and be all things and have it all together and just... Because here's the thing, if we wait for perfection, then we never do anything. If we just let trying to be perfect rule our life, then we don't show up for our life ever. We just like sit back and wait for everything to line up. But I'm just over that. So... You guys know the song, You Got This, that we wrote? Well, this is the companion piece to that. This is the book, the devotional book to go with the song. <sighs> okay, it's out in the world. The Kickstarter is live, and there's a link in my bio on my I Am Jody King page. And if you don't already follow me on my personal page, I actually made the personal page to go along with the book, and I will be doing devotions from the book when it's um, printed after we hit our $10,000, you guys helping me do this, uh, I'm going to be doing devotionals from my personal page. So go on over to I am Jody King, follow me there. Um, that, that page is mainly for that purpose. And, um, $10,000, I have 45 days to hit it. And what I didn't know about Kickstarter is you have to hit the whole goal. You can't do half of it. You have to do the whole thing. So from this day until 45 days into the future, you guys can pre-order the book. You can pay what you want. One dollar pledge gives you uh, a free song that Chris and I wrote that we haven't shared with anybody yet. And then you can pledge more than that and get a You Got This t-shirt and music and a signed copy of the book. And the next pledge package, I think, is getting your name in the thank you, in the thank yous, which I think is really cool. So I actually, I'm not printing this book obviously, until I have the money to print it and until I get all of you guys' pledges in because then I'm going to include your name in the printing of the book so that every single time the book is printed, your names are in it. So um, let's do this together. I can't do it without you. I really need your help. And um, it's actually even more helpful than going um, to our, our merch page and buying merch. This helps our family way more than that. So 45 days to hit 10k and you can give what you want check out the pledge packages pick one that you think that suits you and if you wanted to you got this t-shirt t-shirt anyways then you can we're only selling them um, through the kickstarter you can get it by buying a book so they're not actually on our web page um so <sighs> thank you guys thanks for wanting to help all of the messages and dms that i've gotten over the last couple days just how can I help you and Chris? How can I help you and the boys? What can I do to stand in the gap with you guys while you're not playing shows, while you're just home? Because really it is like a small business. It's like we're this small business that's just at home. So this is the way. This is the best way. And I'm trying to be as bold as I can <laughs> to just put it out there. And in the at the end of the day, I just knew this was something that Holy Spirit was asking me to do. So I just had to do it, right? And my hope is that this book unlocks that strength encouraging you to go after the things in your heart that you know holy spirit is asking you to do then we can go through the devotional together we can do a page a day together 
I'll do it live and we can track along together. And um, yeah, it's okay. So some people are asking, is it I am Jody King? It is, but Jody is spelled with an I. So it's I am J O D I K I N G. So I'm going to write it in here right now. I am Jody King. Okay. There we go. I wonder if I can write that in here. Let me try. Um, thanks for asking. So at this point, I've written every single page of the book except the thank you page because I'm waiting <laughs> for you guys on that. Um, but I've written the entire book. It's completely finished. Um, but I can't actually print it until I have the money to print it. <laughs> so thanks for all the questions on this. Um, it's written. It's ready to go. Um, it's a devotional book for everybody on the go. And uh, I think it's going to hit you right in the middle of your life, your real, real life. It's about ditching perfect and showing up for your real life. So it's called You Got This, the same as our song. And I have 45 days to reach $10,000. And, um, yeah, you guys can, oh, you know what I'm realizing for those of you watching live on Facebook, I didn't put the link on Facebook yet. I just realized that I put it up on YouTube and I put it up on Instagram, but I did not put it up on Facebook. Okay. Cause I don't know how, so I'm going to figure out how to put the link on my Facebook page right now. So it'll be up on the love and the outcome Facebook page. Um, sorry guys, I totally realized that I did not put it up there yet. So let me figure out how to do that. Chris is techie. I'm not. Um, the other thing is I re uh, released a podcast today and I talk about the behind the scenes of the book and how I wrote it and my complete vision for it, which is uh, a little bit more complete, um, than I can do on a live stream. But I walked you through how I just felt God speak to me about this dream and how I went af after it and, um, just my heart behind it. So if you get our emails, they come out every single week. So if you got the email today, it has a link to the Kickstarter in it. It also has a link to the podcast that you can listen to. So, um, to subscribe to the e email list, some of you have asked me for that. It's the insider emails that go out once a week. You get free music that we've never put out anywhere else and you get a devotional from me. So go to love and the outcome and click sign up. And that's how you get the emails. They're free. They're totally free. Um, so let me go. Um, thanks for listening to the podcast guys. Thanks for being in our corner in this season. Um, I'm so super grateful. I can't say that enough. Thank you guys for being with me in this dream. Thank you for helping me make this book come to life. And I couldn't do it without you. Literally can't do it without you. So thanks for your support in this season. Thanks for listening to the podcast and um, just tracking with us and our family. We need you guys right now. And we're so grateful that we can count on you. So have a great day. And um, that's about it. Any questions you have? prayer requests, just like usual, put them in the comments because I can't always get to everybody um, while I'm doing this, but I'll definitely go answer all your questions. Shout out Christina, Audrey, Carrie, Cammie, Hannah, Irene, Susan. <laughs> Shout out Caitlin, Robin, and all of you, Lori, all of you. Thank you so much, Tristan. Thanks for being with me and just tracking with us. And uh, I'll go ahead and put those links in the bio. Thanks, guys. Love you so much. Have a great day.